Hey runners, today we're going to talk about a controversial topic that I get asked about all the time. So should you stretch before and after running? The research shows that there's not a lot of evidence suggesting that stretching gives you long-term benefits. So what I recommend is stretching only what needs to get stretched after running. The three areas that runners lose range of motion in first is your hips, your ankles, and then your big toe. So make sure that you have full range of motion in those three areas, and then move on to doing other productive things such as foam rolling, scheduling a massage, getting in compression boots, um, using a heat pad. So today I'm going to show you what full range of motion looks like in your hips, ankles, and big toe. So full hip range of motion means in this position, you have 15 degrees of hip extension. So hip extension is going to be super important for running, especially when you want to drive your run forward and drive that hip behind you. So another area that we lose range of motion the most is ankle dorsiflexion. Dorsiflexion is being able to bring your toes towards you. Plantar flexion is bringing your toes down. So for this one, we need to see 20 degrees of ankle dorsiflexion without rotating your knee in to compensate. Okay. So another area that we need full range of motion in is our big toe, meaning great toe extension. So extension is being able to bring the big toe towards you. Flexion is bringing the big toe away from you. And you need 90 degrees of great toe extension for running. So what that looks like in standing is this. 